All right, everybody, welcome back to Versus Live, powered by Star City Games and sponsored by Carnox Chairs. Just a reminder, do not forget to head over to carnox.com slash SCG to pick up uh, one of these beautiful chairs. Get yourself 10% off. Also, any other percentages off we can do? Uh, I believe we can do 50% off of Tier 1 subs. No, we can't do that. For the month of September. But Twitch can. <laughs> it was a test. <laughs> you failed, but you know who succeeds? <laughs> Director Rob. If you want to dish any of your questions, feel free to tag at SCG Tour. Director Rob will do them, and Director Rob doesn't fail. Unfortunately, I just wish I got some of that Twitch sub money, but you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we would be rolling in it. And we'd be rolling in Subway sandwiches, right? Because it as a partnership. You I don't can, know if you want to roll in Subway sandwiches. That sounds messy. It does sound messy, but I mean, anywhere you roll, just bite a sandwich. You know, I mean, that sounds like the kind of life I want to live. <laughs> yeah, I'm Corey on this one. I don't, you know. Yeah. I mean, you okay. can take I'll, showers. I'll swim in meatball marinara sauce. Exactly. Know. Like, you eat all you can until you're full, and then you go take a shower, man. You, you do know? not want to swim in the, the meatball marinara sauce. They keep that yeah. stuff scalding hot. <laughs> Rob, I think me scalding and you hot. were the type of kids that would roll around in mud, and Ross was the one like, what are you kids doing rolling around in mud? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Seems like it. It's a pretty good analogy, I, right? I don't know if I rolled around in mud, but I got dirty. Like if I, if I, I, I ran around a lot. I played yeah. outside. I played three different sports as a kid. Well, you were getting dirty in that round two here against uh, my blue red deck, so I believe you there. But <laughs> focusing on round three, we we have another spicy matchup uh, cooked up for you. I am going to be playing Wyatt Darby's five color pure insane man deck. I think yeah. that's pretty and accurate, right? Everybody is talking about how the mana is so bad in this format, and why it's like, you know what? <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> yeah, All yeah. the colors. He's like, oh, you only get a duel and a temple land in one two-color pair? Well, you know what? If you take all the color pairs, you <laughs> yeah. get a lot. <laughs> yeah, you, you get, get a lot. lot. Of I mean, you know, first of all, Wyatt Darby is a genius for thinking that you can just jam all these non-basic lands and working. Wyatt Darby is just a great magic player. He is a great writer, and he is just an all-around great guy. So let's take a break to just appreciate uh, how good Wyatt Darby is. He's, I think he's the new Reed Duke. I think I can say it, you know? Are you... Are you one, Reed Duke is still around. Yeah, I know, I know. Two, what are you angling for here? Are you trying to, are you trying to get me replaced by Wyatt Darby? Is that what's going on? Is he going to, like, am I walking out that door? They're going to be like, please come with me into the conference room. We yeah. need to have a talk. Wyatt Darby's just in the corner <laughs> like, like, sorry. sorry yeah, well. Is that what's happening right now? Midwest takeover. There's already one here, so, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go down swinging. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Hey, a guy can't be a Wyatt Darby fan. I love his stream, you know. I'm just saying that the it came out of nowhere. Wyatt is a great guy. I agree yeah, with you. Yeah. I think this deck is sweet. Uh, <laughs> and th there's a ton of like there's a ton of fixing in it. Yeah. You're in you know, You've got uh, Gilded Goose to make food tokens and yep. make man of any color. You've got Paradise Druid to make man of any color. You have got Incubation Druid to help you out yeah. with double color cost cards and Furborough. Fayboro Elder. Fayboro Elder is nice. This is the real key card. Yeah. And you know, it's it's colorless green white. It's a zero zero, but it gets plus one plus one for each color among permanents you control. Mm -hmm. So just by itself, it, it's two colors already. So it's always going to yeah. be at least a two two. It has vigilance, and then it taps for whatever colors that you have among permanents. So yeah. you know, so it's it taps for two mana just by itself. That's great. You know, we saw like Shaman of the Forgotten Ways be good in Mono Green Devotion a while ago. You know, ramping from turn uh from three mana to straight to six mana on turn four. Have you heard of Hydroid Crisis? Hydroid Crisis, <laughs> Garrick the Cursed Huntsman, so a lot of yeah. great and we're featuring them both. So that's per that's good deck building. Yeah. So you curve naturally even without anything else going on. But once you start playing some of these planeswalkers with your good mana fixing and it becomes a three three, a four four, maybe even a mm -hmm. five five it has vigilance, so it can get in there, pressure planeswalkers, you know, play defense if you needed to, but yeah. you can also just start tapping for huge amounts of mana, play huge Hydra Crises, play multiple planeswalkers in the same turn, and you can mm. run away with games really quickly. Absolutely, but on the other side, you can absolutely run away with the game super quickly as well. We are finally getting to see what, let's get real, what you all wanted to see, and what we promised you, a Knight's deck. You know, Knight's, like, like we've said before, we wanted to kind of save this towards the end, and we haven't even waited the full time you know there's going to be a couple more nights spoiled but right now we got enough to make a deck and i think uh you cooked yeah. up a spicy one no, i i i went through all the lists found all the cards i liked i decided on base or zov or splashing red uh yeah. you know just a few red cards in the deck things like inspiring veteran uh mm -hmm. but we're really base uh or i think that's where the, the strongest cards are 
Yeah, just basically have all of them, you know, uh, and we're going to see what sticks uh, and, and hopefully generate the synergies. The one thing that yeah. uh, was big up for me is I wanted to try all the, the big tribal payoffs. So we have the Lord. We have Worthy, veter- uh, worthy Veteran, Worthy Knight to get, yeah. you know, extra 1-1s one and, and flood the battlefield. We have... Just uh, one of the best yeah. knights ever, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Like, they, it's a card from yeah. old standard, but that... It's still but, one of the best nights. Yeah, yeah. That's just our good one drop. But we're yeah. playing all the, uh, as many tribal playoffs, I think, as, as I could fit in the deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're just going to see what sticks, which ones play well, which ones don't. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll try a revised one later on. Yeah. But for now, this is just at the wall, as many creatures as possible. So we're not killing these mana creatures until we get to the cyborg games. So, you know, both decks are going get, to get to do their thing and we'll see which one's thing is better. Well, so you're so what you're saying is if I do play the goose, it will indeed be loose. Yes, the goose will be loose. Per- perfect. Well, let's get to the games. <laughs> so I'm gonna be first, and like I said, don't forget to uh, tag at SCG Tour here um, for. Uh, oops, I got a different color sleeve here. Oh, we'll ignore that. Oh, in a match where the, where the marbles are on the line, I see. I see what's going on. Let's get, let's get you a bit. We'll get that. There. We won't even look. Oh. Uh, oh. Might be so, our beautiful, uh, our I mean, beautiful preview be, here. It could be Gilded Goose. It could be Favor or Elder. It could be Oko. I, of, I'm gonna, of cards. I'm gonna laugh so hard if it's just like Basic Land. <laughs> <laughs> don't, I don't think we need playtest cards for mountains. You, know? <laughs> you never know. Okay, we'll get to the hands here. Oh, okay. Well, all right. So if we take a peek at our, take a peek at my hand here, we can go turn one this. And even go on that to turn to... Oh, we're keeping this hand. This is nice. Uh, so my hand's a little mana heavy, <laughs> but we have a strong opening curve. And our deck, you know, has... We have several adventure cards. We have ways to use extra mana. So I think this is a keep, though it's sort of towards the low end of the spectrum. Okay, perfect. So we're going to uh, take two here. We'll go with the Gilded Goose to get a food token here. Let's get an insect. That's food to someone, right? Mm, yeah. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of protein. In, so Brad in. Nelson will be our insect food token for now. Since we do not have tokens uh, for food quite yet. Yeah. I will start going to 18 with Gala Shrine. We'll play Venerable Knight. So okay. 2-1, when it dies, you get a counter, a plus and plus one counter on a knight you control. Can't so, complain. Small tribal payoff, but also just a solid body. All right. So we're going to untap here. Ooh, that is not what we wanted to draw. So I think it's pretty tough to just not want to use this right now, even though it is our only food at the moment. But I think getting this down is great. We're going to sack a Brad. Um, we're going to go blue white to fairy and we're just going to bounce that right away. That's pretty good. So you're at 19. Yeah. My hand. Turn two to fairy. Let's go. All right. Your turn. Okay. Ooh, I wish I would have had that card. Uh, I just drew. And I really want to get this worthy knight down. So I'm going to shock to 16 and cast that one. This is okay. a two, two that makes one, one white humans. Whenever I cast a knight spell makes sense. And you're at 18, 18. Yeah. Oh, I gained one. So no, I'm actually at, you're at 19. 19. And I'm yep. at 16. I've shocked both turns. Okay, perfect. 16 to 19. On tap, we're for sure gonna tick up. Um, now that was a great draw. That was an absolutely great draw. Um, so I'm going to take two. I'm gonna go to 17. We got some beautiful mana bases here, Ross. Yeah, a lot of shocking. All right, we're gonna play a new uh, planeswalker as well. We got Oko. How's the Oko? That is a rough one. Yes. Yeah, so now, what do I want to do? Do I want to make food, or probably just make this goose big? So I can just make it a 3-3 goose, but then I can never use its uh, mana ability again. So that is a cost. That is for sure a cost, but it allows me to essentially keep my creatures around. I don't know if that's actually worth it, though. Um, let's see. I think, because that is only plus one as well. Yeah, we're just going to make food. We're going to go yeah. with food. I think it's just much more important. So yeah, we'll get the our mana seems important. Yeah, we'll get our Brad insect going, and we can still block if we choose. Um, but we'll turn to you. That's so much loyalty. I know. A six. Uh, I know. Those three mana. Two three mana planeswalkers that tick up to six on uh, in this new set. No big deal. Oh, I gain one life as well. I go to eighteen. Yeah. Inner uh, planer beacon doing some work in this matchup, of course. Three mana planeswalkers has never been good before. So no, never, never. You know what? And since they're so bad, let's try two mana planeswalkers. Let's get more running sixes in here. What do you think, chat? The uh, the gross thing here is that the I'm really scared of the minus five on Oko because I've got a lot of good creatures that cost three or less. I would like to take them. Yeah, exchanging a food token uh, is so valuable that like normally, Whoa. what's wrong with my brother? 
Uh, you don't want my brother's token? How, how much time you got? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So Whoa. It's only a three-hour show, Corey. Rob, hold me back. <laughs> hold me back. <laughs> uh, so normally I would I would snap, you know, go for this Teferi here because, you know, you can I can it. get it off yeah. the battlefield. But, but if Teferi's I, not doing much. <laughs> yeah, Teferi's not doing much. And this Oko minus fiving next turn could be pretty big. I actually think I want to attack the Oko. Uh, which is unfortunate. Yeah, and I don't want to block with my goose quite yet. Yeah. We're not going to cook the goose. We'll, uh, we'll play Temple of Silence, and we'll get a scry in. Okay, we um, love that. I'm not sure how good this card is in terms of how well I can curve. So I'm, I'm going to plan a double spell because I want to go wide to try to attack these Planeswalkers. Um, and if that's the case, I want something better to go along next turn. So I think we're going to bottom this, even okay. though it's a pretty powerful card. Uh, we're going to play Knight of Ebon Legion and Venerable Knight. Both of those are knights, so we'll get two Shaheen Saranis here to help me out. Seems good. Uh, you know, old man solidarity. I like it. And I like then, it. Uh, and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> okay. We're going to untap. Not a bad draw. Not a great one. Um, so we have access to four mana. We're for sure going to tick up here. Um, now, I think... I want to just make a blocker here. So we're just going to tick up. We're going to turn Brad into a 3-3 three, three here. We're going to go like this, if that works. Sure. Okay, so it loses all abilities. It's a 3-3 three, three elk. Yep. And then we're just going to go Incubation Druid. Yep. And do a Scry here. And I think I want this. Uh, yes. So we're going to keep this, and we're going to pass it to you. Okay. This is a pretty critical turn. Yeah, this really is. <clears throat> Not a bad draw, but uh, so hmm, with so many creatures, so many blockers, this is going to be a tough one to actually. I do have some blockers. Manage, especially. So I'm essentially, I'm thinking that these two are just going to check the Shaheens, uh, which they can do. Quite I do like easily. to keep Shaheen in check. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Now, I, I'm certainly starting on. Inspiring Veteran. So this is our Lord. Red okay. White for 2-2. Two, two. Other Knights get plus and plus 1. We'll get a Shaheen off of that. Um, and then we're definitely going to play Wintermore Commander. I'll get another Shaheen before okay. we get into combat, because if the Worthy Knight dies, we want to get our value up front. And one reminder for everybody at home, these are not Knights. I mean, yes. this would be just insane if this created Knights. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they, they figured that one out. Yeah, they, they now, solved it. I, I have a tough attack here, because yep. the, the Oko is, uh, once again... Can exchange, uh, yep. Well, it's uh, exchange control target. Or, uh, so I guess, yeah, you could give me like a, a Gilded Goose at this point to yep. exchange, but then the Oko would die. The Teferi is also threatening to bounce something, which like isn't great. It just draws, you know, Corey another card. Um, and the 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 one problem, the big problem here actually is that Knight of Ebon Legion gets checked by this uh, three three. I like that. Uh, so you know, if what like, so what happens if I send say I send everything in Oko? You know, let's just start thinking about some potential blocks. You know, three three. Uh, I think this block is just so easy, and uh, that you probably have to go with that. And in order to save the Oko, you would actually have to chump away both of your. Um, I guess you wouldn't. You chump away one of them. So let's say yep. Druid goes here, Gilded Goose go, go here, and your Oko would be on one still. That's not even great. You know, I'm we're trading Gilded Goose for Knight, and we're getting four loyalty. It's fine. It's fine, but it's not great. I'm not yep. super happy about that. Okay. Uh, you know, if I were to try to kill Teferi here. You know, I could send everything at Teferi, and I think your likely block is to just eat this and let Teferi die. That's uh, reasonable. And so we're trading Knight for Teferi, and then you're set to maybe take my Inspiring Veteran, which is really good, because you have a 3-3, three, three, and now you're, like, Veteran is what is getting my Knights big enough to actually attack. Oh, dang it, it's not Green Elk Knights. Yeah, it's just a Green Elk, so. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that could be problematic. I, I'm really scared about this, this minus five. Yeah, I'm um, just hoping... Uh... Yeah, I don't know what I'm hoping and if you I do send, here. If I send these at somewhere and try to hold this back so it doesn't die to the 3-3 the three, three elk, then where am I sending them? You know, I could I could send, if I send all these at Oko, you probably just trade for the Worthy Knight and then check these, and your Oko goes to two. And I think That's you're reasonable. happy untapping there, you know, bouncing maybe a token or something. Let's get a clock, Judge. This is a, <laughs> I, I just have... No, uh, it's such a complicated turn. I have oh, so many I'm, things. I'm totally giving you crap. Uh, and look, it's really unclear to me what what we're doing here. I, I think I'm not okay trading the worthy knight. I think 
because I've already gotten a lot of value out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think I really just want to get this Oko off the battlefield. This is the card I'm most scared of. It's giving you a potential extra mana with the goose, you know, maybe another 3-3 three, three next turn. Yep. Uh, next turn, off upgrading that. Um, I think I can live through this bouncing something and getting another card. Yep. So I think I'm just going to try to send everything I can other than the knight because I don't want to lose that. The knight of Ebon Legion. They're all knights. Final uh, answer? Yeah, so I'm going to send <laughs> these four to Oko. Okay. Um, I think that's a great attack. Um, and I do want to protect it, but I don't want to lo lose too much here. So we're you going to block, block like tonight. this and have this go to two. Trade yep. with uh, this and then do that. And then we'll pass the turn. All right. So now I want to, I've definitely been setting this up to go to 16 here. And then I'm going to gain one, go to 17 with a Garrick. Good okay. old Garrick here to play. Got any cookies to eat? Nope. No cookies nope. for Garrick? All right. Well, Garrick here is going to be insanely powerful. I think just the ability of making wolves constantly is pretty tough for you to deal with. Um, so we're going to do that. And now, do I want to lose to Fairy? I don't think it's really necessary yet. So we're going to tick up with this. And we're actually going to just tick up. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, we're going to tick up. And we're going to turn this goose into a 3-3. Three, three. So we got a 3-3. Three, three. It does not have flying. Um, of note there. And uh, yeah, we're just going to say go. We're going to try to just kind of uh, control your creatures as much as we can here. Um, but once again, a very big turn. I'm pretty vulnerable because I am tapped out. Okay. <laughs> that was a good draw. Uh-oh. That was a good draw. Uh-oh. Uh, and I have exactly four knights, which means I get to curve perfectly here. Uh, so we will cast the Circle of Loyalty. Oh, Legendary that is a artifact. good draw. Yeah. So we're going to get a second Anthem going. Um, I also am going to shock to 14. Okay. And I'm going to play Steel Claw Lance. Oh, so this is, gets to the equipment, to a knight huh? for one yep. mana. Uh, I think we can pretty easily equip here. Okay. Uh, because it's our, one of our smaller knights. And then Wintermore Commander can make the Inspiring Veteran indestructible when it attacks. Impressive. Uh, so now I've got four 2-2s. Two I've got a 4-3. A four six death touch, <laughs> a three three that's going to be indestructible when it attacks. Yep, and a five six. Okay, you're at seventeen. <laughs> was, <laughs> should I even be attacking flights walkers? Yeah, no kidding. This is a this is a weird attack. Uh, yep. So let, let's just do our our you know our check uh, of what's going on. What happens if I just send everything at you? You know, you can. This will be indestructible. This will be a 4-3, so maybe like this box here, and then maybe you just chump the big ones and get your Garrick big, and this is this is 11. So that's only 11. You're at 17, but you, that's a an attack that gets rid of both of these and um, trades here, and I would just get a counter on, you know, one of my knights, probably veteran or something. You know, if you once you untap from that at six life, maybe you can bounce Circle of Loyalty, uh, draw a card, kill something with Garrick or make two more blockers and do some stuff with your turn. I That seems a little risky. I think I'd rather just try to get these Planeswalkers down. And now with this in three, I'm particularly concerned with Garrick. So yep. let's, let's try to deal with this Garrick. Um, <clears throat> so that's a five. So uh, Knight of Ebon Legion being a five makes it an easy attack at Garrick. So I think that's an easy one to do. Okay. So that's going to demand a block. So that'll occupy one. Now, if I were to send every single Shaheen at Garrick, you would need to block with two things, and then Garrick would survive at one. So that's a problem. So I, th um, so we need to send one more. I guess you have three blocks. Yeah. Uh, so if we want to play other games, though, you got to start making some plays, yeah, my yeah. friend. <laughs> um, so I think this will be the other one we send there. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. So we're going to send uh, those five at Garrick and make sure that one dies. Yep. That and then we're going to send these two, the four power one at Teferi and the three power one at Oko. So they're both threatened. We're going to give this indestructible. This has as a four, six death touch. So you would have to triple block it if you want to kill it. Okay. So, so we're going all this at Garrick. Yes. And this at Teferi, this at Oko. Okay. So every single one. And this is indestructible now. Yes. And that has indestructible. Okay. So... You have to block each of these to protect these, and regardless of how you block these things, the Garrick is going to die. And this is a two, like, huge, right? It's a two-four normally, and then it has two plus one plus one, so it's a four-six. 
It is a 4 6, huh? Okay. And death touch. Death touch so, yes. yep. So this you, would, is a... if you wanted to take that one down, it would be a triple block. You would save your Teferi. You would lose all five other permanents. This is definitely tough. I want to be able to clean up some creatures here, but this is the main one I want to deal with. So but that is unfortunate. Yeah, I know. I am aware. So let's see. And I can't save. Yeah, you put me in a tough spot. This is a great attack. This is a phenomenal attack. Um, now, how do I want to try to check this? For sure, this is free to just eat this if I want to just give up on my Planeswalkers, which I might just have to yeah. do. That's the only reasonable block that happens over here, unless you want to trade for more stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this. I, I just don't get to kill anything much else, so... Are you just trading a Shaheen for three Planeswalkers? We absolutely might. That's not an attack I am uh, absolutely hyped about. Yeah. Maybe, no, I, I think I just want to block this so I have a... That's it. A I, I am, I'm at 14. If you were to make that block, you could, like, adapt here and attack me for 10. Yeah. But I'm, uh, that's I not enough. I don't think I care about these enough. So, yeah, we're going to go like this. Okay, so you're keeping the Teferi around. Yep. That seems reasonable because you just turn that wolf token into a card and, yep. a, you know, a bounce on probably this. Or All right, this is going to be tricky. Down. Uh, yeah, both Planeswalkers and pass the turn. All right. That was that was a oh, nice this card. Is, I think really good. That card is good. That card is very good. Now, what can I do to deal with it? So you still have four knights. Yeah. Um. No. Let's see. I kind of want to. Cast a Wrath of God. That was my circle <laughs> of loyalty. <laughs> Yeah, where's your time wipe? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to bounce this. Can't do anything about that. Okay. Attempt successful. That's a nice one to bounce because it means my veteran's probably not getting into combat next turn yeah. either. And now I think I don't really have a choice. All right. We're going to go Garrick again. Brings you to 18 from the... Yep. And then we're going to just destroy this. Draw a card. Solid. And uh, so I go to 18. Yep. Now we're just going to have a couple blockers here. We'll go with a breeding pool and say go. Okay. Another big turn where you really get to pressure my planeswalkers again, and I don't have great uh, thing to do about it, but I got rid of a card that I really needed to. So Yeah. Um, so I can... What can I really do here? Uh, this game has been good. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, I'm not super concerned with the Teferi. And I think I want to start pressuring Corey's life total because, you know, eventually you're going to start drawing Hydra Crises and, and that's going to be... Difficult. We definitely want to get the Garrick off the battlefield. Yeah, Garrick so seems the three important. Shaheens at the Garrick seem easy. And I think I'm going to send the rest to you okay. uh, and ignore the Teferi. If you want to, you can trade with this if you really wanted to. But uh, this is a, uh, what, three, four, five. So that'll be a tough one to block. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're just going to block here. And maybe I want to block this knight with this. I could see that being reasonable. Um, yeah, let's go like that. Okay. So you're going uh, to... Yeah, gonna, if you'd like to pump. Yeah, yep. I will. Uh, so you're going to... This is going to die. Yep. And put a counter here. But this is going to be a three, six, seven. Seven. Okay. So I'm going to take seven. Brings you to 11. Yeah, three, four, five. Well, I only take six, right? Uh, oh, plus circle. seven. Yep, yep, yep. So I go to 11. Yep. And at end step, you're going to get this counter. Uh, Yeah. Uh, so Garrick died. Garrick's dead. We'll play Wintermore Commander. Okay. And I will scry. And counter there. And <clears throat> this seems like a reasonable card. I just want creatures, really. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I'll leave that on top. Okay. 
one. Untap. Yeah, to dig towards oh. more powerful cards. Yeah. I have, I have, if I draw a seventh land, I can just pump this and activate this. So I'll, okay. I'll dig towards something more powerful. Sure. We are a little low on resources at this point, but the, this knight is pretty good. Yeah, also. that card's uh, tough to deal with. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, now, now I think I just have to start dropping uh, very powerful plays here. So I could adapt. This would add three, four, five. Nope, that doesn't not work very well. We are going to start with a crisis for four. That'll draw draw you two, gain you two, so you go to 13. Yep. One, two. Okay, not bad. So I go to 13, you're at 14? Yes. Okay. Now I have options whether or not to try to play something else or... Just play a tap land, and I think I would rather play something else. So we're going to take two. Brings you to 11. To 11, and we'll go with a... Basically, I'm thinking which creature would I like to kind of throw away the most. <laughs> um, and I think it is Paradise Druid. Yeah, Paradise Druid can at least trade with one of the Shaheens. Exactly. Nice. Then we'll pass it to you. Um... Okay, so our, our Wintermore Commander is now a 3-3, which is not great. I kind of want to move the Lance over to it. Um, Makes sense. But the mana there is uh, definitely a relevant aspect, um, especially given what I just drew. Uh, I guess I could get it up to 4, which is kind of nice. If I get this up to 4 power, 4 toughness, then you have to trade with the Hydra Crisis, which is good. Um, so I think we're going to play Oathsworn Knight, okay. which is a nice one because it's just a very good attacker. Yep. Um, very strong. So uh, that's this is four plus one spawn counters. If you're a Monty Python fan, I'm sure you're happy with that card. <laughs> yeah, that card's so sweet. And you're at 11. You have three cards in hand still? Yeah, three cards, yeah. We'll do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and how do I? So this is a four four. So you either have to send both block here or trade there. This can also, you know, maybe make one of these indestructible. Or a three four, right? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Okay. Three four. Um, but with death touch. Death so. touch. Yeah. Uh. So. And then this I can pump. This is already uh what one two three, terrifying four, yeah. five <laughs> yeah it's a five six that I can pump so. You're not, you would have to triple block that one, which I think I'd be pretty happy with that trade. So I think I'm going to send, uh, I'm definitely sending the knight at you. Okay. I'm definitely sending this Shaheen over here and going to make it indestructible. Okay. And I'm also going to uh, send this, I think at you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Shaheen at Teferi, these two at you, make this indestructible. Okay, I think we'll go like this. We'll go like this. I like these blocks. Now, do I want to chump away, or would I like to take four, five, six, seven? I think seven is a bit too much for me right now. Um, yeah, so we're going to chump this one. Okay, so okay. these trade. These trade. Nothing happens yep. there. Fairy's still around. Yep. And then I will pass the turn. All right. Uh, we need another big turn here. I should have tried to sequence Ooh. more to get value out of this circle. All right, so we're going to tick up for sure. Now, um, we got options. We got options. But I mm. think the best is just, yeah, it's got to be this, I would imagine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, crisis for six. I think this is just too good right now. I mean, I do have really some other really good plays, but I think being able to just block uh, Black Knight here, I think is pretty important. So you'll go to 14. Yep. Draw three cards. Two, three. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, this gets six. Now we actually drew something we can play here, which I think is important. We're going to take two and play a Gilded Goose. That is really rough. Yeah, Goose is important. So here's our Brad Nelson food token. Uh, we go to 12, and we'll pass it to you. Oh, that, that This game is insane. <laughs> that, that Gilded Goose might do it. Yeah. Um, because I think I had a pretty good attack just moving this over. Yeah. Setting both of these at the Teferis. Uh, 
and like both of these at you. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy because most of the time I 100% agree with you. Teferi isn't what you need to necessarily be uh, pressuring, but it, Teferi is about to activate for what the third time yeah. of bouncing something. Yeah. Which is a tough, tough road to hoe. Yep. Uh, so this has to attack. Yep. And I think. Uh, and it's a pretty easy block on uh, on it from you, but that's fine for the, just this turn. Uh, so I think I'm going to send uh, this knight at you and this knight at Teferi. Okay, so we're going to go here, and now the question is, do we want the mana goose or just this, and we'll take the... Yeah. Yep. So okay. pull the goose down. Uh, we're going to try to set up for next turn because we can play a winter more commander, which is nice. Okay. Uh, give something indestructible when it attacks, and then also make a 2-2 two -two on your turn. So we'll play okay. that and pass the turn. All right. Makes but sense that's to a, me. Second crisis. Garrett, Garrett, crisis, yeah. crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not and had we a just, turn of reprieve here. We just drew a nice one. Now I think we were easily safely going to be starting to uh, pull away here because we just drew a phenomenal card. Um... So now the real question is, do we want to keep Teferi hanging around? And basically it's, do we think we have enough time? Um, and I think we do. So if we look at my hand, I think this is going to be our play. Um, seems good to me. I would like to stop, um, stop some stuff from happening here. Okay, so we're going to start with Garrick. Three, four, five, six. Gain one, go to 13. Yep. Uh, gain one, go to 13. Now, what modes do we want to do on these plans? Oh, God, this, this, these games are insane. Um, so I think if I want to destroy a creature, it's going to be Knight of Ebon Legion because this card is just causing me so much of a headache. But making the wolves is just two chump blockers. So I think that is better. We're going to make some wolves. It's comical how much better Garrick is than Liliana would be in these scenarios. Oh, yeah. And I think Teferi has had enough here. I mean, maybe not. I'm not feeling super threatened right now, so we actually will just go with uh, Elder. So you got green, blue, white, black, everything but red? Everything That's but red. 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four, not bad. Um, we'll go with the Temple and Scry... That to the bottom. And now the last thing we have here is whether or not to Teferi. I don't think I'm threatened yet, so we're just going to go up. Pass to you. I will make a 2-2 two -two with Vigilance Knight. It's a 3-3 three -three from the circle. Yep. And we'll see what we can do here. This yeah. is a, a tough spot. Yeah, we're starting to slip away a little bit here, but still uh, anyone's game. That was not a very good draw. Um... Eric is a problem. <laughs> yeah. Five blockers. I only have six attackers. <laughs> There's no way I can kill Garrick. Yeah. Uh, Murderous Rider? Even if... Uh, That'd be know, a those good are, one. Those are on the sideboard. Oh, okay. They're okay. tough to cast. You don't actually don't have a ton of black... Uh, that many blocks. Was it, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, just six, the way it works. Just, yeah. Just every land <laughs> You could run. cast two of them. Yeah. Um, and I have to be a little careful because... If I leave you with a, with some battlefield and you get to chump with some wolves, you could just emblem and kill me. Yeah. Like emblem. Yeah, you're at 14, blocker. right? Yeah, I'm, I'm only at 14. You know, this is a 4-4. Four, four, this is a 6-6. Six, six. Those two alone with plus three, plus three trample, <laughs> that's 16. You know, and then this incubation druid, you can adapt it. That's yeah. another six. You're at 22 already. Uh, uh, and that so that gives you three blockers to throw away. Yeah. yeah. So that I, I need to be able to, I need to send three, at least three attackers at Garrick. Um, probably more. These Shaheens are not very good. Um, I'm telling him you said that. <laughs> think what we need to do is I might need to move this over here so I get a five-five vigilance, but then it, that just gets eaten by the crisis. Well, I guess I give it indestructible, but um. Yeah, we put you in a tough spot here. That's Definitely for sure. Definitely in a tough spot. Third Garrick is, uh, I think, a little too many. Yeah. <laughs> Garrick's uh... good. Garrick is another one of those cards that we've tested a lot of cards, you know, and it's uh, it's one of the ones that impressed me the most. I just send these four because these do not attack very well and say, like, give this indestructible. Then when Hydrid Crisis can 
step in here. That's a 4-4. Four, four. This is a 4-4. Four, four. Can uh, A 4-4 four, four that also adds 4 mana. Like, yeah. that's just insane. Wolves can, like, chump here. I make the knight ind indestructible and, like... The knight, the knight's only a three three. So the actually, so this gets to, and so you have two easy blocks and then two chump blocks, and you only lose the two bulls, and I'm dead. And Garrett goes up. So that attack doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um. So I think I just, I honestly think I might just need to send everything at Garrick, just to get some loyalty off of yeah. it. Yeah. And I think yeah. I need to move this over first to create more pressure. I mean, you do have the option of not attacking, and then Garrick can never emblem, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna get me anywhere, Corey. I, I think you just untap attack for six and make two more wolves. Uh, so yeah, let's move that over and then send everything at Garrick. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is right, but so we are gonna go here. Um, this is a five-five, huh? Yeah. And, okay. Uh, this is this is gonna have it indestructible. Okay, that's indestructible. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go. Um. Everything at Garrick, huh? Okay, we're going to go this, here. This is a 4-4, four, four, by the way, in case you don't want to lose the Elder. Oh, it is a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Um, all right, so... So, like, Elder can block this. This can block here. We can go this you know. here. And then you can get... You can actually... I just want to keep my thing alive, so we'll eat those. This is a 2... Uh, it is a three, and I have a one, two, three, four knights. So it's a three, five. So we'll go like this here. Yeah, I, there's probably better blocks here, but I think this is fine. Okay, we'll go so like this. You're, you're gonna lose two wolves. I'm gonna lose two Shaheens. Okay, uh, and this is gonna this lose is gonna a go counter. down to counter. And uh, then I'm gonna. It's, it, it's going to take, take three, three, but, but gain, gain two. two. So, it'll be so a lose one. Four. Yep. And then I'll just play a tap Blood Crypt and pass the turn. All right. And I th yeah, I think you, you're right. You have very easily stabilized. You just make two more wolves. I'll attack. Yeah, you get to attack. I'm at eight. All right. I will bounce Hydroid Crisis. Draw a card. All right. So now. This, this game's over. Yep. Because <laughs> I just Crisis for a lot. I can even yeah. just play some more Planeswalkers. You know, it was. Uh, yeah, wow, I mean, that was a grind. I, I really, I was I think, super far behind. Uh, I think you, I don't think you were that far behind. What ha I think yeah. what happened was you, your start on the play, Goose into Teferi, Teferi. into Oko, yeah. was really powerful. So you got very far ahead. On or it was into three. Incubation Druid into Oko. No, it was, it was Oko immediately. Was it? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. So that, yeah, I drew the land that I needed to do yeah. so. Yeah. So, so yeah. that opening put you really far ahead, but I was able to curve really nicely. I hit that circle of loyalty on the exact right turn yeah. and pull back to somewhat stable. But then, like, we got to this end game in a stable spot, and that's going to favor you. Yeah. Because you just have all these really powerful cards, and I wasn't really able to punch through fast enough before you just crease us into more powerful things into more powerful exactly, things. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and, and then took over from there. Yeah. Garrett's really good at buying time because not only can you block and actually actually take down a few creatures but most of the time you have to attack it and then just two more creatures plus whatever i get to play to also defend it becomes yeah. pretty rough for you I, yeah i think if i'm on the play that game it goes a little bit differently because yeah. i have i'm i get out ahead of your teferi yeah so your teferi does get to bounce something but then i get to kill it yeah uh, and then you know that teferi is not really doing anything later and i'm curving i'm, I'm just a little bit further ahead on tempo yeah. uh and so i think i it would have been you know a very interesting game at that point super close um, but as it was, like, I, I had a good draw that ca caught me up from your good start yeah. on the play, and then just, you know, your deck is really powerful going along. It really is. is. If the mana base works, uh, then it is very powerful indeed. Yeah. All right, uh, so we better do one more game one, huh? Yeah, one more hopefully, game one. Hopefully we have time for more games after that. We are pushing yeah. it. Pushing it? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. But. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> this might have to be a last game. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see about that. <laughs> There's a deck that can end it quickly. You know, it's my all, all one to three mana creature deck. That's true. We'll see if you can um, do it. No one drop in, in this hand, but it looks to be a solid one otherwise, so I think we'll keep it. All right, we're going to keep this as well. Uh, it, it's got the potential to be awesome. Okay, I'll scry, and do I want that land? I don't think I do. Let's okay. that. We're going to draw. We're looking for a specific card. Um, now do we want to risk it? I don't think that's very smart. But we're not doing it anyways. 
that next turn. Okay, so I think it actually is what we should do. Okay, we're gonna take two, kill the goose, get an insect, and your turn. It's gonna be tough. Um, I will shock to 18 and play Wintermore Commander. Okay. Uh, two one death touch. Done? Yep. Oh, an untapped land. That's what we needed. It's what we needed. So now we are going to sack this food token and get a food token. <laughs> that card's insane. All right, your turn. This is going to be a tough one again. Yep. That was, I mean, I needed that draw. I did not have the untapped land, so this would have been devastating for me, but. And now, uh,. I think I have to try to apply a lot of pressure. So let's uh let's attack this down to four, four. at least. So yep. ultimate. And I'm gonna play uh Oath Sworn Knight. Okay, that's now good. I'll pass the turn. All right. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. That was a spicy one. Okay, so we are going to once again have to oh I gained one life as well. Yeah, you're 19. So I'm gonna go to 20. Um, and we'll play a Teferi, and we will bounce this draw card, um, we'll make some more food, threaten that as well, and then we got a land to scry, don't need Nicol Bolas right here, <laughs> fast to you, Nicol Bolas, <laughs> I didn't even know that card was in this deck. <laughs> Five color nonsense. Yeah. All right, and our hand is pretty wild. I don't know if it's necessarily good, but it is for sure wild. Now we're threatening to exchange with some food again here. All right. Kill the goose and Oko and Teferi start is, <laughs> once again, really tough. <laughs> yeah, uh, it right. was insane. You know, if I had had a one drop like I had in game one, things could have been different, but yeah. I, I missed a turn, and so that sort of swapped playing And draw. have to play some temples once again. I mean, not much you can do. You probably had other lands then, uh, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Just didn't ha I only have eight one drops, not a ton. Yep. Um, so how best can we attack into this? Once again, I, I really don't want Oko to ultimate. I think that's... <laughs> because I'm just, my creatures are... Yeah, I'm I guess just going to take... I'm just going to take your go, creatures. could go like this, and then if you want to exchange your... Uh, you're not getting a great one because you have to either take this one that can't block or this one can easily attack over what the other one you take. So I think that might be our best bet is to deal with this Teferi and just say, you know, if you want to exchange, do it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shock to 16 and I'm going to cast Order of Midnight and Smitten Swordmaster. Okay. Just 2 1 lifelink, 2 2 flyer. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so if you want to take my creatures, they all suck. <laughs> That's, that was my playing around it. So I'm at 16, Impressive. 16 from the second shock. All right. Well, we didn't draw what we wanted to. That's for sure. Um, now, I could exchange, and it that might be decent. Um, hmm. Or... We could try to maybe kill some of your creatures and just make more tokens. Uh, this is tough. All right. I mean, actually, this seems pretty strong here. This flyer is the only thing that's really pressuring us. And this gives the, that's the indestructible one, yes. huh? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I think we will just tick this up. Make another food. Make a make oh, no, a three make a three. three. Yeah, like plus one. Okay. Make a three three and play an elder. Pass to you. Not positive about this one, but and the elder is a three three. Three three. Yep. Point blue. Uh. <laughs> um. So another knight, and I have this as four toughness, which makes it a good attacker. So I think I want to play a knight this turn. And Makes sense. You are a knight deck. 
<laughs> I'm going to play a knight. I might as well play the one that digs through my deck. Let's play Acclaimed Contender, or maybe maybe Oathsworn Knight's a better attacker next turn. But I'm trying to deal with this Oko. Um... Yeah, I put the shields down a little bit here, and we didn't have the land, which was unfortunate, but what can you do? Yeah, let's go with the Oath Sworn Knight. I just want okay. good attackers. Yep. You can actually send everything here, because the Order of Midnight flies. Mm -hmm. The Wintermore Commander is four toughness, and if you want to trade both of these for it, I'm happy to do so. And then we can give the Smitten Swordmaster Indestructible. So okay. all three at Oko. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we don't want to... Uh... I d like you said, I don't want to really deal with that. And the real question is, do we want to exchange with some things? And maybe we do, but I can't really set that up right now. So I think I just want to go like this. Oko goes to three, I gain two. Yep. Or Oko, yeah, goes to three. Yep. I go to 18. Okay. Pass the turn. So 18 to 20, right? Yep. All right. I think that's a pretty happy turn for Corey. He doesn't really lose anything. Yeah. Um, and now he untaps with a ton of mana. Mm -hmm. you know, this is six mana, seven if he wants to make a food token. Uh, there's plenty of colors, color fixing with the interplanar beacon. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta get a Niv Mizzet in this deck. Yeah. So now oh. the question is what do I want to be doing? I would think for sure make a food. Food token coming in. Um,. Now, this is a 3-3. Three, three. That thing can still block, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Now, do we want to start dealing with some permanents here? Probably. Um, let's go with... So this would be adding four. Okay. I think we have a plan. I don't know if it's necessarily a good one. But we're going to sack the food. Say Vraska. Vraska. And we'll kill this attack for four. I'm at 14. You're at 14. I go to 21 with the beacon as yep. well. Um, and then this taps for four. And we will play a another elder. Now we're just going nuts next turn. Your turn. Yep. Braska's going to die, though, which will shrink them. Ugh, really wanted to be making some land drops here. Our curve, like, you know, our curve goes up into twos and threes, and right now we're just stuck playing one spell a turn when I really need to be playing two. Um, Ross, Corey, what do you guys left totals? Uh, 21 to 14. Okay, thank you. So I would imagine uh All right, this is just green, okay. Let's play an acclaimed contender. Okay. We'll dig top 5, get a knight, aura, equipment or legendary artifact. Perfect. Okay. We really wanted to find a one drop to get another creature down this turn. So even though it's the less powerful one, I think we need to take it. Okay. So Venerable Knight. Double creaturing pre seems pretty yeah. important. So get Commander up to a 2-5. Okay. And I can once again, uh, so we'll send uh, the Order of Midnight at Vraska, make sure we deal with that. Okay. And then the other two will go at Oko, and the Commander will target the Swordmaster. All right. Um, and once again, I want to just, uh, I don't want to throw everything away for that. Because it is five toughness, yes, right? Currently two five with death touch. All right. Okay, so we'll just block this again. We'll lose Vraska. Oko goes to three. Or er, only yeah, it only yeah, takes, takes two. Takes two yep. three. And Perfect. I go to sixteen. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. So now you got some blockers here. We finally drew a land, but of course it's a temple. <laughs> don't think you need any extra mana. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Yeah. You got access to 10 if you want it. <laughs> now, so these are only three threes. Do I want to offer a trade? Probably not. I will take it. <laughs> take it. <laughs> trade, trade, trade. <laughs> um, all right. We got all kinds of goods once again. 
Now I think I want to go with, we're just gonna make another food. Um, three, four, five, six, Garrick. We're gonna go hope. To 22. Yep, go to 22. Now I want to be able to kill some of this annoyance um, and just keep your, your creature count down a little bit. But I don't know if I definitely don't want to lose Garrick. So it's a give and take here. Garrick gives, you try to take. Now, I think we will just make some wolves. Um, and now this is a 4-4, four, four, so I could offer the double trade. 4-5. That doesn't seem great. I think we will just... Go with a... This card just doesn't matter right now. I think we will just go with a temple, scry. We can probably keep that one on top. Um... And then I think I will attack for four. Yep. Uh, I will double block. Okay. Um, I will float four, four mana, and let that happen. So the mana's gone then. Or yeah, I can. <laughs> I, I'm thinking if I just want to make a food and sack food. You know, you just to just, gain life. Half that to gain three life. It just doesn't matter. We'll just let them okay. let it happen. I'm gonna put the counter on this order of midnight. Okay, and then we will pass it to you. And I will. So now I have three. So this is a three toughness. I just wanted to lower the amount of knights here. I probably could have got in with the insect as well. Okay, uh, we will play knight of the ebon legion. Yep. I will play Steel Claw Lance, which is yep. why I wanted to make that double block so I can make this a 5-5 five five now. Makes sense. Equip to Knight for one. This is now four toughness. You'll need to double block to deal with it. We're going to send this at the Garrick. Yep. And I believe we want to send these two at Oko to start forcing the issue. Um, and yeah, so this is four. I guess you could trade both wolves for it and then block here. This is Wintermore Commander trading for two wolves. A good trade for me. That seems fine. Um, yeah, I'll send both of these at Oko, give Swordmaster and Destructible. Okay, so we're for sure blocking here. Um, now, if we just block with one, are you dead? So these die, Garrick goes up, Emblem, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, plus 4, 4 plus 7, 18. But you have a blocker, so it's only 16 and trample, so that is lethal. Oh, but you gain two. Yep, but you gain two. That's uh, That makes it unlethal. Oh, but with the card I drew, or that I'm going to draw. No, because I want enough mana to cast that. Okay, so I can't kill you next turn, so I might as well just deal with this. And we'll block like this. Kill that, chump. I'm going to get two counters. You yep. gain two. I go to 18. Okay. So two counters on this. This goes to seven. Okay. All right. So now we can... Oh, I could have just won with exchanging. <laughs> yep. I totally could have just won. Yeah. Or making this a 3-3. Three, three. Or make that a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Good call. Well, I think I can still find a way to get this done. So, yeah, I think you're fine. I think so as well. Now, we might as well just kill this draw card. Yeah, um, you're, you're, we're already at 4 o'clock. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I had so much gas. No, I, These matches are tough. Yeah, hard, it's a lot hard of brain power there. needed. I just, <laughs> I just fell too far behind to yeah. the, that early start of yeah. you know Goose plus Oko. Uh, you know, we saw me playing with Goose a week or two ago, and I didn't have the Oko's to go with it, and it looked pretty bad. Yeah, when you did, it looks great. Then yeah. it, it just looks like Birds of Paradise. But maybe it's just much different when you're playing Planeswalkers that gain you this advantage over time, because then you're not just losing out in this card just being bad. You're gaining value through the Planeswalkers. So maybe it's good enough that it's only like a one-time 
thing without Oko, because I mean, the games you want to look at to see if Gilded Goose is good is the ones without Oko. That's the yeah. main thing. So yeah, you don't want to yeah. have, have it be dependent. And yeah. you know, just turn to Teferi is nice uh, yeah. st for setting stuff up, and then. You can, you know, play it on turn one, play a mana creature on turn two, get to five mana on turn three. Exactly. Which can be nice. So, uh, there or are the tree folk on uh, turn two. Um, and then, you know, you can still get to five mana. Yeah. I yeah. mean, five mana, it's insane. So, uh, but yeah, since we are running out of time, do we got some subs to thank here? Sorry, we didn't get uh, too many questions in there this match. Yeah, we have three subs to thank. Yeah, complicated Ooh, game, sir. Those are. Awesome. Coderific and Free Locket all subscribed today. So thank you to our, them and all of our other subs. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I I suspected that I would come away from playing with the night stack, regardless of matchup, that like so you need some removal somewhere. Yeah. But I liked a lot of the knights in the deck. I think Wintermore Commander looked really good. Yeah. Made combat pretty easy. Uh, I never got to use some of the uh, adventure cards. Yeah. So maybe there were some of the weaker ones, but I wanted some card advantage. But they seemed like, you know, Order of Midnight being a flyer was nice. Yeah, that's uh, nice. One thing I will say is I think no matter what, you have to skew the mana base in such a way where you you have to play Murderous Rider. I think Murderous Rider is way too important. I think it's the best knight, uh, you know, if not just the best card in the set. And I mean, I think there's plenty of opportunities there where if you could either clear one of my big blockers or just kill Garrick without having to worry about attacking it, you would be put in a much better situation. Plus the lifelink body, not super relevant, but the, yeah. the hero's doomfall thing or hero's downfall thing where I'm not attacking you very fast, where if it just kills a creature, you don't care if you lose two life or something, I think would have been a huge sway and i think the sideboard of games probably would have went in your favor just because of that yeah yeah some yeah. removal uh even cheap removal to deal with some elk tokens or deal with your mana creatures because those yeah. were doing a lot of uh, work especially in game one against yeah. the shaheen tokens just blocking mm -hmm. one every turn if i could have cleared that out of the way attacking the planeswalkers would have been easier yeah or if i have an answer directly to the planeswalker then i could focus on attacking yeah. you what about legions end at any point yeah kill all the wolves kill crisis get the crisis out of my hand you know as weird as it sounds, my all Planeswalker deck is gets wrecked by Legion's End. You know, yeah. so uh, I I I like what I saw out of some of these some of these cards. I yeah. think the Knight cards are pretty powerful. I think Worthy Knight's good. The Lord is obviously good. I think Wintermore Commander looked very good. Just that artifact out was just insane. Yeah, Circle too, of holy. Loyalty. Yeah. Um, wasn't as impressed by some of the adventure cards in the deck. You yeah. really just want to be curving out. I thought the I thought the combination of them, like Smitten Swordmaster, gives you some reach, and then Order of Midnight can like rebuy it. Yeah, to, to I like that card. card. Yeah, but the body is pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. And then I actually I, I don't know if it was just the matchup, but Oathsworn Knight did not look very. It good. It didn't look very it good. It just looked like a mediocre body yeah. that didn't do a whole lot, cost a little bit too much mana. Yeah, sure, so, it had a flesh wound or two and kept yeah. coming back, but that's really all it did. You know, so, so that's <laughs> yeah, that's where I looked to start adding some removal. You definitely yeah. want black removal spells because we're base black white yep. in this version. Uh, the equipment didn't look. Like that good it looked okay. didn't look good to me i think yeah. circle of loyalty is your like non-removal non-creature card i would go up to three copies maybe even yeah. four uh I, I that card feels to me a little bit like um uh what was the zombie enchantment liliana's tr uh, majesty mastery mastery, mastery. Yeah, yeah 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 it, it, like pumped it can pump out some extra tokens i don't know if you can get some legendary creatures in here i know the red yeah. uh, the javier uh dominguez the red legend is is one drop is a legend, but yeah. none of the Fervent champion, Fervent yeah. champion, none of the Orzov cards are legends. Plain and simple, there's something there. It's just it, yeah. it needs some fine tuning. Um, but as far removal. as yeah, but as far as this one goes though, this deck also needs some fine tuning. But it felt good. I mean, we just look at Garrick, uh, the hunted, the haunted huntsman, cursed huntsman, or the cursed huntsman, and that that card's unbelievable. Yeah. And if the tree folk lives and can crank that or crisis out really quickly, I think this deck is insanely powerful if you want to learn a little bit more about this deck check out wyatt darby's uh article he put up there but uh i think that's uh probably gonna have to be it for us here we yeah. ran a little past time there were some good matches the marbles will remain here until next week we got more throne coming at us uh on tuesday yeah where it'll be I, I guess it'll be our last time where we get to feel really special where we get to play throne before all of you get to play throne yeah. it's coming to uh magic online it's coming to arena next week it's coming to a pre-release uh, near you next weekend so you get to join in the fun that we do it'll be great we'll have the full card list next week we'll get to yes. explore every single thing um and it's going to be a great time so we yeah. got we got two more weeks of this testing before release weekend um all right yeah something like that yeah two more weeks yeah, then, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll defer to you on that. We'll finally see, <laughs> see some of these cards in action in, in real tournament play. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.